Hey guys, in this video we're going to create the faded blue or cross-processed effect inside of GIMP. I'm going to very quickly show you how to do this using one particular technique and that's going to be using the curves but there are lots of different ways of using different tools to create this very popular effect. So we're going to go to colors and curves and inside of GIMP 2.10 what you'll find is that the curves have two options. We've got the adjust curves perceptually and we've also got the adjust curves in linear light. I'm going to click on the linear light and we're going to do this edit in linear light. First of all, we will go to the channels, choose red, and I'm going to do an edit that's going to increase the amount of red in the highlights. So the highlights are over here and we're just going to drag the red to the right and that will increase the amount of reds in the highlights. Next we'll drop the reds in the shadows by clicking in the bottom left corner and just dragging down quite a bit. Next we'll go to the green channel, click in the top right area and drag it up. I don't want to increase it much more than the red. So I'm going to go back to the red and just take that up a little bit more and then I'm going to try to match that around here, around this point with the green and we'll go into the green into the bottom right and then drag that down to around the same level as the red. So that will give us a kind of bluish tone in the shadows. We'll get red and green or yellow in the highlights. We're going to get fairly yellow looking skin and that's fine. Next we're going to choose the blue channel and here we're going to make a really big edit. I'm going to grab the lower part of the line and drag it all the way up. So we take the entire line up and it's going to look pretty extreme and that's exactly what I'm looking for. We're going to fade that effect a little bit by clicking around here and then dragging that back to that line that, that runs from the bottom left to the top right. And that kind of fades the effect a little bit and gives us this sort of faded blue effect in the shadows. We're going to go to the highlights and we're just going to drag the highlights down just a little bit, not too much. That basically gives us the effect and you can see it's pretty extreme. So what I'm going to do is to hit OK. But before I do that, we're going to take a look at this effect inside of the perceptual curve. So inside of the perceptual curve, this is what it looks like. And actually, I prefer it inside the perceptual. So I'm going to go with the perceptual. Now, at this stage, you could hit the plus button and save this as a preset. So we'll hit OK. And we can then hit OK. You can also go to Edit Fade. And we can reduce the strength of the effect. So if I felt that this was a bit too much, I could reduce it maybe by about 50%. I want to look at it again using a different image. So we're going to use this image now and we will go back to the curves and you could at this stage call up the preset. I've set my dialogues to remember the last setting so they've called up the effect automatically. I'm going to go this time to the linear light adjustment and we'll work with that one. As you can see it really fades away the the, the shadows into blue. We're going to hit OK and once again I'm going to choose Edit Fade Curves and we'll reduce the effect again. So we can take a look at the effect on the initial image and on the second image. You can see it's just this really kind of interesting effect where you get the kind of warm highlights and the very cool shadows. So that's basically how you do it. It's um, something you should definitely give it a try if you haven't tried it yet. It's sometimes called the cross-processing effect and I think that term uh, actually applies to a very wide range of different effects which you can get in traditional photography and this is just one of them. But we're going to leave it at that and hopefully you like that. Hit the like button if you did like it and um, share the video with someone else who might like it. Subscribe for more videos. I will see you next time.